Hey folks, welcome back to Build It With Smith. I'm your host Smith, and today I'm playing SimCity, the PC version. Not SimCity Build It, the mobile, ver uh, mobile game. Uh, some anyway, playing SimCity, uh, the PC version on my, not PC, on my iMac. And uh, this is including the Cities of Tomorrow expansion pack. So we're going to go ahead and get into that. Now this is a game that I've had since it first came out. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, well, uh, tune in and uh, hopefully I can show you something. Now, the first thing you got to do with this game is to choose a region. A region is going to have several different plots where you can make your own city. So uh, I'm looking for a region with a lot of variety. We got this one here, which looks pretty nice. The Whitewater Valley has got five city and one great works. Now, a great work is something, it's like a... a uh, project that all of the cities, all five cities in this case, can come together and participate on, send resources. Like in the game, you'll have different specializations that your city will have. And for instance, you can like mine coal and so maybe your Great Works project needs coal. And so you're sending coal over to that city, uh, to that Great Works project. And some of the examples is like a space uh, not a space station, but like a, well, maybe it is a space, not a space station, a, a launch center, like wherever they do rockets and stuff, like in, in Houston or, uh, Florida, actually, uh, if you're in the United States. Anyway, that's, I never really have completed a, a great works before, so maybe you will see it here. Uh, this one is an island, so there's lots of different choices here six cities here uh what i'm going to be looking at is uh this one's kind of cool um a rainforest probably have a lot of trees here and stuff um what about this one i don't quite need 16 cities that one looks kind of dusty what else do we have here? This one's got 16 cities. It's got four great works. That's a lot of cities. How about this one? 11 cities. Um, well, they all look pretty neat, I guess. I don't, I think that one has too many mountains for me. Uh, what was that one? Discovery Delta. Hmm. Maybe I may work there. 16 cities seems like a lot, but hey, it'll give us a lot of choices. So let's go with that one. Let's go with that one. So we're going to choose that. That is uh, the region that we're going to work with. And now we need to write, uh, name the region. What should I name the region? Hmm. Uh, uh. Like a region, like a, like a metropolis. Um, hmm. Uh, let's just call it um, the Metroplex. Okay. And now we get to choose some of these different plots here. So we're not going to go through all of them, just the ones that seem interesting. I know what I want to do uh, starting out is I want to have like a city for mining and stuff. So uh, that right there is coal. That is ore. Those are the two things that we want to mine. It looks like here they have a lot available. So I'd say let's go ahead and go with that. There's no oil there. There's a lot of water and win so i think we're going to start out with huckleberry island now when we hit claim that's going to get us into the game so let's check it out now all right here we are at huckleberry island let's take a look around lots of potential here lots of trees different landscape and all of that so i think this is a pretty good spot now a couple of things I like to check when starting in um, is let's go to our what we call the data maps 
The data maps is going to tell you, uh, well, lots of different things. Uh, but what I want to look at here is where is the coal, where is the ore in this island? So let's check out the coal first. And it's telling me that there is a lot of coal up here and right over here. And where's the ore? Oh, well, that kind of sucks a little bit because I was hoping that they'd be close, closer together. Um, all right. Now, the other factor here is the wind map, the wind map. Which one of these? This, I think it's this one, the wind map. The wind map is important because you want to know which way the breeze is blowing. All the breeze is blowing this way. So what this means is if I put a big factory here, and then if I decide to put some, a residential zone here, all of that pollution is going to blow into the factory. So I got to take all that into uh, consideration here. So now that we know all those things, we got to start out and uh, just just hit the ground running with our city here. So let's see what we can do and what can be done. Uh, this is going to be kind of slightly difficult because of the way that the map is set up. So hopefully, though, we can make it work. All right. So let's start off. Um, let's see. We got this lady here. She says, draw a road from the highway, which we can do. Now, one thing I'm looking at is how are we going to get this road that we draw said road down to this level? Is it going to let's see what happens here? Are we slightly curving the road? Oh, by the way, uh, I'm going to be talking about uh, because I primarily on this channel play SimCity Build at the mobile game, and I'm going to be pointing out different things that are different in this game so that uh, if you're looking at something, you're like, wow, I've never seen that feature. I'll uh, kind of just tell you about it. So let's see. This would be kind of steep, I think. Actually, I know that we can make like a tunnel as well. So I don't know if that's something we want to think about, making a tunnel. Uh, or what kind of way we want to do this. The other thing to look out for is the fact that we only have 50,000 simoleons to start off. So I think we just need to get things going and we will uh, attract people into our city and kind of just come up with everything else on the fly. So right now we're just going to start a road and start bringing people in. So let's bring that out to about right there. Out right there and then so we're gonna start off with a dirt road the reason we're starting off with a dirt road is because it only costs two simoleons like I said we got to uh, what's that is that a something I should hmm. anyway uh, all right so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna do this And let's see, I guess we'll go to right about there with our road and we'll come down here and we're kind of going to go this way. I do have a plan for all this, ladies and gentlemen, in case you're wondering, what is he doing? Uh, all right. So what I wanted to do was just have some more streets this away this away and and here of course have uh, let's see we'll have a street come out to about right here it's trying to make this kind of look like a neighborhood type of thing 
come out to about right there. Okay. Hmm. So, I guess that works for now. Now we need to, I think the next thing would be, draw our residential zones. Uh, so the good thing about this is, uh, all you have to do is zone where you want the houses to be at and they're gonna start attracting people. Of course, you have to have things to attract the people, but that's, oh. Okay, so I think, uh, I think we'll have all this. All this right here. And uh, so people start moving in slowly. Now, you see how the time is right there? This is year one, January. I can speed it up from turtle speed to llama speed. Then there's also cheetah speed. So uh, we should start seeing people moving in now. Yes, there they are right here. There come the moving trucks. Let's zoom in and see. How's it going? So there's that. There is our dirt road, our little uh, plot of land, and people are starting to come there and live. So that's good. That's kind of what we wanted. All right. So that's good. Now uh, they're wanting more commercial zones. Commercial zones provide shopping and stuff. So I'm going to have a commercial zone right along here right there exactly convenient for people to get to and then later we'll start an industrial zone but uh, I think that'll be on this other side of the map now people are getting frantic because there's no power so we need to provide some power and uh, I think what we're gonna do where should where should that be where's our wind map because uh, we're gonna have a wind power plant, guys. Obviously, uh, we don't wanna spend all of our money on some of these high dollar power plants, uh, especially 145,000. So we're gonna go with something like a wind power plant. But first I gotta see what, oh, okay. So here's a wind map here. And where should we actually put this? I wonder, should this go down here? And we should make all of this like industrial because there is some coal over here. So this side of the map just might be industrial uh, in my estimation. So let's go back to our road and let's just put a nice little road veering off over here. And going right down there. That is what we're wanting. And so now let's go back and see if we can find a place. Not exactly, huh? Okay. Guess we gotta extend our road a little bit more. Give them a little bridge there. That's quite a drive, actually. Uh, perhaps what I'll do, perhaps what I can do is kind of curve this road around and make it connect. Maybe not so much like that I'll bring it out a little bit more but maybe it can connect like somewhere over here let's bring it out a little bit more as a matter of fact let's bring it out to about right there and then we'll start to curve it and hopefully now it won't have that weird bridge thing going on we could just make a nice curve here connect to this road Make it more convenient for the folks. All right, so hopefully now we can fit, oh, what happened? Hopefully now we can fit this wind power plant in here, I'm hoping. No, not so much, not so much. All right, well, uh, is there room to put it over here or something? Or 
but it looks like we're running out of room a little bit uh, so that whole road was pointless and people are getting anxious no power hold on guys I'm coming let's just let's just make this road just just like that and hopefully we can squeeze the power plant into here into one of these spaces oh come on All right, well, I guess we need to try something different. Uh, maybe what we should have done is just have this road come on down here. And let's see, maybe just sort of start to curve it around like that or something. Uh, all we want to do, folks, is, let me see, what, uh, let me see, hmm, I don't want to get too anxious and like just start drawing roads everywhere so bear with me a little bit I'm trying to see what makes the most sense um, let's just go ahead and connect uh, yeah let's connect these roads here actually Trying to make it to where I don't delete something. Uh, this is already getting kind of frustrating here, guys. We still don't have any power or a place to put the power. Okay, well, apparently it'll, it'll fit right there. So let's just do that. That way our people can get some power. Uh, I don't know if that's really my ideal place to put it. And then they need water now. Uh, find a good place to get a lot of water from. As you can see, the uh, maybe we'll put these like closer to the coastline over here. Looks like the closer they are, the better potential you get grabbing water so we'll just run a road right out a little bit out to there and drop this in here and get 16,000 so hopefully that all works out uh, now for bulldozing looks like people have abandoned their posts because of no power probably no power yep no power no power no power no power so hopefully people are coming back all right now there's a potential uh, a petition to build a town hall the problem with that is and i've done this before with the town halls is now it gives them a place to come and complain and cry about not having power and things like that so i'm not really one for any of that right now um what i do need is uh, I need a place to kind of run some of this smelly stuff here. Now I can upgrade this, this road, this dirt road. Obviously I'm going to upgrade it. That's kind of messy looking. Let's just go with a straight up curved road and see if we can get it out to here. All right, that's a little better. Uh, all I wanted to do 
was find a place to put oh now they're not complaining about it anymore didn't y'all want sewage let's put this can i put this like over here out of the way out of the way okay so now all their sewage should be running in let's come check on our guys now okay uh oh also in this game they have uh these little uh, achievements uh, um, what is the name for it I, I don't know but uh, Mayor Smith 5306 this is a great town but I need a place to work well you can work at the commercial zone if you want I guess they want to work in factories so now I gotta zone a place for some factories uh, I think this is all gonna be residential here we'll work it out um, I know we're going to have that coal factory somewhere over here. And maybe all of this, let's see, where is that ore again? I don't want to place it on top of where, so the ore is primarily over here. So, uh, I guess I can have, hmm, where's the best place? Let's see how much other parts of the land do I have. So if I ran like a, a underground thing right here and then, yeah, I think we might end up making a tunnel perhaps. Uh, let's see. I got a road that leads to nowhere here. Probably need to go ahead and connect that. Um, yeah, probably so. So, let's see. Can I run? Should I just continue this one here? It looks like it's going to get rid of something there. Uh, It's saying I should start over here in order to keep things flowing. Uh, the reason that they give you those suggested uh, places is eventually you can upgrade from these mobile homes to apartments and bigger apartments. And so uh, what they're basically saying is, uh, what they're basically saying is, you need to allow that much space for your maxed out buildings. So now we have a connection here, but still really no, uh, no, no rhyme, no, no reasoning behind why this is curving all the way over there. Uh, so I don't know, maybe that'll be like another entrance to, I don't know. We'll, we'll come up with that later. So now the question is how are folks going to get down this incline here? I'm hoping that uh, we can go underground with it. It's saying this way, like that looks like a bad interception. Okay, now if I hit the end button, I think it's the end button. Maybe it's the M button to raise, to like make a bridge, I think. But that's that's pretty steep. Let's just go down and down and see if we can come out the other end with a tunnel type situation. See how far we can take this road here. It's not really working. Must be too steep to grade down. What can we do about this? I wanna go underground here. Yeah, that is pretty steep, actually. Uh, that is a drop off. Hmm, not working. Uh, well, I wanted to put some industrial factories in here if possible, but uh, 
appears to pose a problem unless I just put them around here. I guess I could do that. Just kind of line them up around here, see what the people think. Let's do that. See how many factories that'll produce. Maybe not 10, but uh, I also kind of feel like I need to connect this some way. So people got to drive to work. They got to come out, come out of the neighborhood, go back on this main road, come here. This is kind of inconvenient probably for the people. I don't know what they're thinking. So we're making $700 an hour. We got 527 people here. Uh, I think we're going to put some more thought into this, maybe sleep on it or something, and then come back tomorrow. But first, let's see what is happening in our town. Now, you can click on this. Uh, commercial people are, are not that happy. Let's see why. We could use some freight shipments. Uh, oh, okay. I could help out with that. Show me. So the reason that they're not getting freight shipments is because of my dirt road. I need to upgrade the dirt road because trucks can't drive on uh, can't drive on dirt roads. So I'm gonna have to upgrade to a low density street here for my commercial buildings and provide. A better way for them to get their freight which comes from the industrial buildings over to uh, to where they're working all right now that should actually help out now what is the slow process with our industrial buildings here it should be building more right that's what I think uh, let's go ahead and upgrade these two since this is just another way and we only used about uh, $10,000 so far a little bit more than $10,000 $10,050 so far on this little investment here so that's not too bad now let's look at the happiness here is it going up still going down oh industrial happiness is is starting to go up now so now the commercial happiness uh oh right yeah that was okay so i don't know if we fix that or not i don't know it seems like it should be doing pretty good let's speed it up a little bit more this guy seems to have some employment crisis there are more workers than there are jobs well, guys, that's on you. I mean, you should need to build more factories. I guess we'll just have more factories running across here. Let me see. I did want some of this stuff to be kind of nice, reserved for a nice beachfront type of properties. Let's see. Maybe I can just uh, make a, uh, a zone here that would work out. That's kind of rinky dink. Let's throw a curb road on here and see what we can do. I don't really have a purpose to be curved, actually. Uh, I don't know what we're doing here. I don't know what we're doing here. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to come back to this. Uh, it's not going as smoothly as I planned or thought. Uh, we do have residences. We do need to build more residences. We can go here to our uh, building map and see if folks are happy see if they're in the green then they're likely to expand and that's when we can start uh what happens is you upgrade your roads 
and then they start building apartments. Uh, as you upgrade your roads more, they build bigger buildings and eventually skyscrapers. So that's basically how it works, but uh, we got some, we got a long way to go here with this, this little town here of Huckleberry Island. But thanks for watching. If you're still watching, of course, go back and look at some of my SimCity Build It videos for the mobile version and uh, comment here. Let me know what you think of the beginning of this series. I know it's a little slow, but if you want me to continue, hey, I will. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.